A mother standing for hours in her heels in the Texas heat, all in an effort to get a job. Now that's dedication. We received emails today from people who were impressed, so we went out to see it for ourselves. Here's Channel 8's Monica Hernandez. Well, we get news tips every day, but it's not every day that someone is so inspired by something they see on a street corner that they give us a call. Well, that's what led us to this corner at Lamar and 30 West in Arlington. This is what it's come down to, folks. Usually when you see someone with signs at a street corner, they're asking for a handout. Hey, at least they know I'm willing to work hard. But Akina Brodiak is asking for work. I'll try anything because at this point I need a job. Even with a degree from UTA, Akina hasn't been able to find one. Not since she moved back to Texas last month from Illinois. They're definitely not used to a, a college graduate holding a sign. <laughs> <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> she's staying positive because she's not just here for herself. Sassy Sasha. Her four year old daughter, Sasha, is priority number one. Parents sometimes have to do things that they don't really want to do. This isn't the greatest for me. I'm a proud woman myself. However, here I am because kids have to eat. She is waitressing part time, but it's not enough to afford an apartment. So for now, She's staying with family. She says she was inspired by this man who was homeless in California. He held up a similar sign last week and went viral. He got hundreds of job offers. Akina needs just one. The lady was like, ma'am, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm going to stand outside with my sign. She said, it's hot. I said, I know, but I need a job. She says she's an amazing administrative assistant with experience as a substitute teacher and she's ready with resumes. In order to be noticed, you have to go above what other people would do. And if that means holding a sign near I-30 asking for work, well then, Akina will be back tomorrow. Monica Hernandez, Channel 8 News.